To play a movie, we'll use a QMetro object to bang a jit.qt.movie object. Each bang sends one frame of the video contained in a jitter matrix, which then goes to a jit.window object for display. Playing a movie in jitter requires QuickTime, which is included on all Macintosh computers. If you're a Windows user, make sure QuickTime is installed. QuickTime movies are compressed and decompressed using a codec. A good choice for jitter playback is the Photo JPEG codec. Let's attach a message box to jit.qt.movie and send it a read message. Locking the patch and clicking on the message box, we can select the movie to play. Once the movie is loaded, it starts to play automatically. Its internal clock reads frames at the movie's frame rate, and then, when it reaches the end of the movie, it loops. If we attach a jit.window object now, it remains black. There's no video. In order to see frames from the movie, we need to send jit.qt.movie a bang. Then the current frame is packed into a jitter matrix and sent out the outlet to jit.window. If we want another frame, we bang it again. To automate this process, we attach a QMetro object with an on-off toggle. If our movie has a frame rate of 24 frames per second, we can bang it at that rate using Max's time value syntax by adding the attribute at interval 24 hertz. That will send out bangs at the proper frame rate, but since QMetro is not perfectly synced to the movie playback, we may not see every frame of the movie. Another approach is to set the QMetro object to a much shorter value, even something like two milliseconds, and add the attribute at unique one to jit.qt.movie. QMetro will then request frames much faster than the movie's actual frame rate, but jit.qt.movie will output a matrix only when there is a new frame. With this technique, we don't waste processing on duplicate frames, and we play the movie at its own frame rate. For example, countdown.movie has a frame rate of 24. Countdown15.movie has a frame rate of 15. We can change the playback frame rate of the movie with the rate message so rate 2 doubles the playback. Let's change this message box to rate $1. Incoming numbers replace the $1 to complete the rate message and control the rate. If we turn off the QMetro object, the movie's internal clock keeps running. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. To turn the movie's internal clock on and off, we can use start and stop. To start the movie at the beginning, we send the message time zero. By default, jit.qt.movie scales all movies to 320 by 240 pixels. In other words, using no arguments or using 320 to 40 produce the same result. If you're not sure which resolution you want to use, and if you'd like to see each movie in its full resolution, just add the attribute at adapt1. When we added the jit.window object, the movie was displayed in a window with a strange name. We can change the name by adding an argument. By option clicking on the object, we get its help file. Let's copy something useful from that. Unlock the patch and copy this full screen sub patch. We'll add it to our patch and connect it to JIT window. Lock the patch, close the help file. Now, when we tap the escape key, the movie goes full screen. And when we tap it again, it goes back to the smaller size. Okay, let's hook up the projector. Sometimes our computer screen will display the same thing as the projector screen. This is called mirroring. Let's go to System Preferences, Displays, Arrangement, and turn mirroring off. Now the screen and projector have different sizes and show different parts of the desktop, so we can operate our patch while projecting the video. Going back to the Arrangement window, we can arrange the projector's image to be to the right of the computer screen. A similar process works in Windows. If I drag the jit.window, over to the projector and go full screen, it appears there. 
If the computer monitor's resolution is always the same, we can have the JIT dot window appear in the projector by default. For example, if the computer screen's dimensions are 1440 by 900, we set the attribute at POS 1440-0 to place it immediately to the right. If we read another QuickTime file, we can watch it on the projector. Now we have the bare minimum jitter patch necessary to present a film festival.